so then you get so you you do that you finish out that deployment and that was a solid deployment you were you were running a bunch of stuff that that sounds like a, a good deal and then what'd you do when you came back so we came back um moved over to support activity one and as you know they they run intelligence support operations for the seal teams uh, it's, it's a fairly normal transition to make as an officer and, and for a lot of listed guys too. Mm -hmm. Um, but what that ended up, what, what really, what that translated into is back on deployment in 2012 with my platoon again, SEAL Team 3, Charlie Platoon, uh, in Kandahar province. So on that deployment, uh, this was one of our you know, more kinetic deployments. I mean, it's, it's Afghanistan, it's Kandahar, there's IEDs everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I mean, to the point where, you know, our, our TTPs or our, you know, our, our, or our SOPs, our standard operating procedures were, hey, we're on patrol, we're getting shot at, don't even move. Don't even go look for cover. Because as soon as you move, you hit an IED. I mean, they're, they're, they're just, they're that prevalent throughout the entire ground, not just on pathways, not just in doorways, in the most random of places. These guys are just burying these things at a, at a whim. You know, and then it's and it's chaos out there, and we know they're not that great at shooting at us, so would rather just take it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a moment just to emphasize what you just said because it's really important, and not everyone will understand it the way you the way you uh, went over it quickly, almost from a tactical mindset. So I just want everyone to understand what he's what he's saying is when at this point the IEDs were so bad that if you started getting shot at by the enemy. The obvious and common and practice that everyone in the world instinctively and by training has is you immediately hit the ground and seek cover. And you get behind a log, you get behind a piece of terrain, you find somewhere to hide from the bullets that are coming at you. And what Dan's saying is that during this deployment, the IED threat was so high that when the enemy started shooting at them, instead of finding cover to hide from the bullets, they would rather just stay put probably take a knee, but not dive behind something because the likely there's a likely chance that there was an IED there. Yep. And that's, that's, that's crazy. It is. <laughs> it is. Um, you know, we've, I've seen multiple guys get, get blown up and, um, usually our partners, our Afghan partners who are patrolling with us, uh, because, you know, maybe they're, they're just not as careful or maybe they're, they're the, the equipment they're using to detect IEDs in the ground. They weren't using it properly, whatever the case may be, or maybe just because it's bad luck and, mm -hmm. and they're just everywhere. Um, you know, it's it and was, there's it, more. You had more Afghan partners than Americans. Oh, by far. So, we we would sometimes go on operations with about a hundred Afghans and maybe twelve, fifteen SEALs. Yeah, because um, we're we're doing entire clearance <clears throat> operations through villages. You know, we're we're going house to house. We're shaking hands. It's a little bit of shaking hands. It's a little bit of on security. You know either defending ourselves or going on the offensive it, it depends on the situation but um you know we round everybody up we talk to them um you know we have we meet with village elders so it's 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 a little bit of your 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 i guess your more typical and conventional warfare tactics of we're trying to meet and greet the population um while also you know being prepared for battle and uh and and but the Hardest part of that was certainly the IED threat. You know, only single file lines. Everything we ever learned in training of different formations and you know, staggered echelon, whatever it is, it doesn't apply. It all it all gets thrown out the window because it's it's only about single file. What has been cleared? What hasn't been cleared? And you could you could veer from that a little bit depending on what area you're in in Kandahar and more mountainous areas, less IEDs. But even then, I've got a story. You know, these guys, uh, s some of our guys take a take a point, take, take a, on the high ground on a little hilltop. I mean, just in the middle of nowhere. I mean, middle of no. I can't emphasize this enough. It is the middle of nowhere, right? And they sit down and this pop goes off. It was a blasting cap that went low order, which means it didn't blow up the main charge, like a 15, 20 pound charge that would have killed all three of them right then and there. And uh, I mean... I want to say that again. Middle of nowhere. There was no reason for there to be an IED right there, but there was. Yeah, and this was and this was out in the mountains, I and mean, this wasn't even in the the pan, you know, the southern Kandahar district, which is which, which is truly just a minefield everywhere, you know. So you know, the, the, I can't emphasize how bad the threat is there. And I mean, even even taking the even taking a small high ground position behind a rock, like you know, this is what we, the kind of things we ran into, and um, so that was that deployment. It was a lot of fun.